What's up YouTube? It's First Shift and tonight I am going to show you how to get the long-awaited black rain. Now this is a strictly a jailbreak. There is no unlock to this so if anybody out there that's already updated to 3.1 through iTunes or 3.1.2 through iTunes this will not unlock your phone. This is strictly for anybody that has an iPod Touch 3G or an iPhone 3GS that came with uh, the you know standard uh, SIM card for whoever you use, and um, that's not uh, unlocked. So this is uh, anybody, any iPhone or iPod Touch with 3.0 or excuse me 3.1 firmware that is a legit. So to show you, go ahead, General. about and as you see here I am on 3.1.2 through Apple so to get black rain to work in my more info section I will have a link and you are going to download this which you see right here is black rain all I want you to do is double click it hit run and up here you see it says says make it rain all we're going to do is go ahead and hit make it rain as you watch the phone it's going to say connect to iTunes you hear the phone beeping it says it's running and as you see here it says or it shows you geo hot now on your screen you'll get a pop-up that says your jailbreak is done. That fast your jailbreak has been done. And uh, hit OK. As you see the picture of GeoHot. It's going to go ahead and reboot the phone. As you see I am using a 3GS. 32 gig iPhone. This will work on the iPod 3rd gen. But it is tethered. That Which means if the phone or the battery dies or you install Winterboard and want you to reboot it, you will have to rerun this. But to be honest with you, it's it's faster than a reboot. So uh, this is just showing you how if you bought a 3GS or a iPod 3G, how to jailbreak it. I'm going to go ahead and slide it open. And as you see right here, black rain. Now when you first get it, going to ask you what you want to install Cydia, Rock Your Phone, IC or whatever you know just go ahead and tag whatever you want hit install let it do its thing as you see it's downloading Cydia and it will reboot the phone once it's done it says respring slide it open and there you go as you see I already had it but I was just showing you I went through the whole steps that's as fast as it takes to do this jailbreak again for anybody that had uh, the accidentally updated that was unlocked through uh, you know T-Mobile here in the states or whatever that you're using you accidentally went to 3.1 or 3.1.2 through uh, iTunes this will not unlock it because that did update the baseband but this is showing you if you got a brand new iPhone 3GS or the brand new iPod 3G this is showing you how to jailbreak it again the uh, iPod Touch 3G is uh, tethered which means if you shut it off you would have to run the jailbreak again but it's all about you know 50 seconds through everything for the phone you won't have to do that it does it the first time and it's done and it's ready to go so again this is first shift please rate comment and subscribe and uh, enjoy your new unlocked iPod touch or your iPhone 3GS